Good evening and welcome to the Staplewood campus as Saints under 23s prepare, prepare to return to action in the Premier League International Cup this evening. A top Group A having played 1-1-1 one, 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 beating Dinamo Zagreb last month 1-0 here at Staplewood. Tonight a much tougher test though they're up against the reigning champions Porto B. We say reigning champions Porto in fact winning this competition the last two seasons. Also the most successful team since this competition was started four years ago. They've won it twice the year before they got to the final and they've also been semi-finalists as well. The Saints line up for you tonight then it's one change to the side that lost it home here to Aston Villa on Friday night in Premier League 2. That change comes in between the sticks for Radi Jadi's side tonight. Harry Lewis comes in. The 20 year old keeper replacing Jack Rose who drops to the bench tonight. It will be a 4-2, 1-3 for the Saints as they deploy that attacking diamond up front again. It's Harry Lewis in goal, back four of Jan Valery, at right back, Aaron O'Driscoll, and the captain Thomas O'Connor in the middle, Jake Vokins at left back. Ben Rothorn and Callum Slattery will be the two holding midfielders this evening. And it's Will Smallbone in that number 10 position. Tyreek Johnson and Marcus Barnes wide right and left. Michael Oberfemi leads the line at the tip of the diamond for Southampton tonight. On the bench, Christoph Clara, Jack Rose, Kane Ramsey, the Saints under 18s right back, Harry Hamblin, Alexander Jankovic, Nathan Teller, and Jonathan Afalabi. The Porto lineup for you. They'll be 4 3 3 tonight. It's Diogo Costa in goal. A back four of Musa Yahara, Diogo Queiros, Pedro Gomez, and Oleg Rebchuic at left back. Rui Pires is their holding midfielder with L Luis Palhares and Romario Barro, slightly more advanced in central midfield. Then it's Madi Cueta and Ruben Macedo, either side of Rui Souza, who leads the line for the visitors tonight. On the bench for Porto, Francisco Mexedo, Moreto Casama, Diego Landis, Rui Costa, Yal Lamira, Yal Lopez, and Inacio Santos. Just about ready to get underway here at the Staplewood campus. Lovely evening in Hampshire tonight. Clear blue skies, the sun's just dipped behind the indoor dome here at Staplewood away to our right the man in charge tonight Just Smith gets us underway in the Premier League International Cup Saints second Group A game this is actually the only other game to have taken place in the competition since Saints' opening match against Dinamo Zagreb it's Porto's first game of the competition West Ham still yet to play at all those fixtures still to come so nothing can be decided tonight I'll run through the format for you in just a moment Jan Valery the Frenchman with an early throw in for Southampton finds the feet of Barnes that's a nice turn wins a corner for Saints inside the opening minute bright start from the home team Marcus Barnes, four goals so far this season. Michael Oberfemi up front for Southampton tonight. They're just staying tight to Diogo Costa, the Porto goalkeeper, also with four goals so far. It'll be Tyreek Johnson to deliver the cross for Saints. It's in towards the run of Slattery cleared by Porto at the first attempt but that's well recycled by Ben Rothorn challenging run for the Porto centre backs to deal with Johnson stayed out on that right touch line Rui Sosa an early touch the Porto striker Jake Vokins goes back to Harry Lewis the experience, Harry Lewis, I think it's fair to say now, spent last season out on loan at Dundee United. 39 appearances in Division 1 in Scotland. 
of course arrived from Shrewsbury back in 2015 into the side for Jack Rose tonight Radhi Jayidi saying that consistency in his team selection after Friday will be based on how the players perform in training she said it's just that one change from the defeat to Aston Villa in Premier League 2 Musa Yaha back to Diego Quiros. Quiros again, direct this time. Search of Sousa. Strong defending from Aaron O'Driscoll. Foul given though, free kick against O'Driscoll on Rui Sousa, who felt that one. The Saints centre back just letting him know he's there early on in this game. was a physical battle for Southampton here against Dinamo Zagreb last month. Sam Gallagher getting the only goal of that game on 20 minutes. Saints, as we said, with no one else having played so far in the competition, could open up a six-point gap with a win tonight. West Ham don't play their first game until the 30th of October when they host Porto. Good pressing again from Southampton. Romario Barrow goes back to Oleg Rebchuic. Rebchuic again back to his keeper Costa. Rui Perez in that defensive midfield role for Porto this evening. Those distinctive baby pink boots. A number of the players have got on. Jump forward again through Ruben Machado. Well to Pajares. Finds the feet of Kiros just in a more advanced position. Laid off to Macedo. Found that right touchline. It'll be a, a fluid front three from Porto this evening with Cueta and Macedo able to operate down either side. Macedo stayed wide right to deliver the set piece for Porto. Low in towards the front post, not dealt with the first attempt, shot comes in low. Never troubling Harry Lewis's goal from Polares. Saints will try and get play moving quickly and successfully on this occasion. We mentioned the experience of Porto in this competition earlier. Obviously, back to back wins for them 2017 18 and 2016 17. This, of course, Saints' first year in the Premier League International Cup. 12 English academies up against 12 from the rest of Europe. The likes of Feyenoord, Sparta Prague, Athletic Bilbao, Bayern Munich, PSV Eindhoven, Paris Saint-Germain, to name but a few also involved in this competition. Of course, it's Dinamo Zagreb in Porto for Saints in Group A. Six groups in total, each of four teams. It'll be the six group winners and two best runners-up who advance through to the knockout stages. All the matches for this competition played here in the UK as well, of course. Saints getting the bonus of having their match against West Ham at home as well. That one to come, not for a few months yet. Tuesday the 11th of December. Pedro Gomez. Romario 
from Mario Barrow, marked closely by Callum Slattery. Slattery, of course, capped at England under 16 and 17 level. Have his work cut out with Barrow this evening. Long ball in search of Kueta gets flattened by Jake Vokins. Strong play there by Vokins. Powerful, pacey left back for Southampton, taking no prisoners there. See a show of respect between the two players as well as Kueta gets back up to his feet. up in the middle of the park by Polares, tall midfielder for Porto, finds the feet of Barrow. Again Saints give away another free kick, just breaking up play in the middle of the park. Referee Josh Smith, not too lenient so far this evening. The physical element of the game could be an important one for Southampton this evening. Against the European opposition, that's a poor ball, Saints will get the throw in which Jan Valery will come forward to take. O'Connor, the Irishman, captain for Saints tonight, finds the run of Vokins. Lovely ball forward in search of Tyreek Johnson. Does well just to nip away from the first man, but marked closely by Yahya, the right back for Porto. No room there for Johnson. Diego Costa, another man. with the rather fetching baby pink boots this evening. I've seen a few of those creeping in in the Premier League the last couple of weeks. Obviously popular over in Porto as well. Vokins with the feet of Smallbone. Lovely feet from Smallbone just to skip away from Maddy Cueta there. Sharp play from the number 10 from Saints. Fino Driscoll into the feet of Rothorn. Touch is a little heavy. That's well won back over on that far side by Marcus Barnes with a little bit of help from Jan Valery as well. Unfairly so, says the referee. It's another free kick to Porto. Third or fourth inside these opening ten minutes in the middle of the park. That's a searching, probing ball in search of the right back, Yahya. Good covering over there by Thomas O'Connor. Cueta. It's a good ball down the line in search of the run of over Femi. He's on his bike quickly, pumping those arms. Good covering defending by Pedro Gomez. Coolly done by the centre back for Porto. Rehab Chuic down the line. O'Driscoll is there to cover and find the feet of Harry Lewis. Really well controlled by Marcus Barnes. Under real pressure he was there by the left back Oleg Rabchuic. Did well to win the free kick. Finally one goes Saints way. Vokins. 
cries of move the ball from Raidi Jaidi, the Saints under 23's boss. Fully aware of the threat that Porto posed tonight. So he's been able to find out a fair bit of information about tonight's opponents. Long searching ball. Hopeful from O'Connor. Too long for Tyreek Johnson. Direct ball in search of Keta. Picked up in the middle of the park by Rui Sousa, the striker just held back by Callum Slattery. Another free kick in the middle of the park for Porto. Taken quickly into the feed of Sousa. Yahaya. Porto Sousa has continued his run, pulled out wide. Yahaya. Not your traditional 1 to 11 numbers, if you, as you may have noticed, for Porto this evening. Having to deal with everything from 31 upwards tonight. <laughs> Valerie. Skips away from one and the second really well. Drew in the tackle from Rebchewicz. <laughs> Referee Josh Smith just pulls Valerie back to where the ball went out of play. Long throw in search of Barnes, can't bring it under control, Porto will clear. Again, O'Driscoll is there for Saints, recycled by Keta. Another free kick to Porto, and it's going to be a bit of a talking to as well from referee Josh Smith. Ben Rothorn called over and captain Thomas O'Connor as well. The free kicks, the fouls stacking up against Saints this evening. No cards so far though, and it's just a talking to for Rothorn and skipper O'Connor. Some marking to do for Saints now. Had a one at the back post in towards the six yard box. Comfortable one in the end for Harry Lewis. Rui Sousa, the striker for Porto with that final header, I think. Not the tallest of players. Leaped well there. Rothorn. Hopeful ball from Valerie. No one quite on the same wavelength as the Frenchman. That's good pressing by Will Smallbone. Just putting Polares under pressure straight away. Tyreek Johnson pressing quickly, putting Musa Yahaya under pressure. It's good play from Johnson with a bit of help from Oberfemi as well. Good squeeze from Saints there. Pressure on Diogo Costa clears his lines well. Barnes with the final touch for Saints. <coughs> Jan Valerie, the man down for Southampton. I think maybe the effects of the knock he picked up just a few moments ago, further up the field. Saints substitutes have been sent out to warm up. Options for Radi Jaidi in the form of Christoph Clara, 
young Kane Ramsey as well. Under 18s right back on the bench, you think would be perhaps the obvious change if Jan Valery unable to continue. Nathan Teller amongst the substitutes out there warming up as well for Saints tonight. Another wide option. Relatively young team out there for Southampton this evening. You are allowed a maximum of three outfield players and one goalkeeper as well, should you require them over the age of 23 in this Premier League International Cup. Porto beating Arsenal last year in the final 1 0. That replay again, comfortable in the end for Harry Lewis. It was the captain, Rui Pires, in fact, who got up to get the final touch. Harry Lewis back in the side this evening. Featured for Saints in the Checker Trade Trophy earlier this month. A brilliant win at Colchester. It's got them up and running that competition as well. It's been a great start to the campaign for Southampton. Just one defeat in their opening eight games in all competitions so far for the under-23s. That defeat, of course coming in their last game here on Friday night against Aston Villa a minor setback in what has been a pretty solid start did see them drop down though to fourth in Division 2 of Premier League 2 having been at the summit early doors good turn in the middle of the park there by Ruben Machado All bobbling around it drops well and pulls the trigger early that was a great shot Edge of the box, not far wide, how to play goal kick. Rui Sousa, the lone striker. Strong play from Sousa. Held the ball up well, a couple of touches to pull the trigger, found enough room. Had Harry Lewis scrambling to his left. say found the room not quite enough room for Sousa to find the target but sharp play from the lone striker for Porto Slattery support from Bokens down the left if Saints can find him which they do via O'Connor it's another ball in search of Tyreek Johnson this time Musa Yahaya equal to it in front of Johnson to clear his lines Likes to get forward Musa Yahya, Yahya, but you sense he'll have his work cut out tonight. Going in the other direction as well, dealing with Tyreek Johnson. And Vokins as well when he finds the time to get forward, the opportunities this evening. Loose touch from Slattery, recovered well, solid tackle. Throw into Porto. You're higher to take. Another late tackle on Rui Sousa again goes down, hits the deck. It's a warning from referee Josh Smith to Callum Slattery just to be careful. The Porto players have spent a fair amount of time on the deck this evening. You are just joining us a little bit late on Saints TV. So far, it's been a quiet night, though. No real clear-cut chances in terms of on target. There was a header, which was pretty comfortable for Harry Lewis to say, from Rui Pires, the Porto captain. Rui Sousa firing wide as well for the visitors. Right moment for Saints inside the first minute as well as they came down the right through Marcus Barnes but came to nothing in the end struggled going forward in terms of shots on goal so far Saints Jan Valery goes down again for the second time this evening 
see the frustration in the Frenchman there, desperate to continue. Looks like he's not going to be able to. And it is the obvious change, as we mentioned earlier. Young Kane Ramsey coming on. Saints under 18s right back. Signed from Premier League side Chelsea back in 2017 after nine years at Stamford Bridge was Kane Ramsey. Quick and powerful right back. Says he models his game on Sergio Ramos and Manchester City's John Stones. Early end to the night for Jan Valery then. Cuts a frustrated figure. But what an opportunity for young Kane Ramsey, 17 years old, to come on and try and make an impact against European opposition. Jan Valery in discussion there with Craig Fleming, the Saints under-23s assistant coach. Former Norwich and Wolves player, of course. Part of Radi Jaidi's team. O'Connor. Can't find the pass. Rui Sousa. A run charging forward from Mariketa. Saints recover well. Oberfemi under pressure quickly from Quiros. Shifts the ball out of his feet. It's an early touch for Ramsey. Given away by Barnes. And again, Porto can try and come forward through Rui Sousa. Good recovery from Barnes, having lost the ball on the halfway line. Did well there. And find the feet of Ramsey. Saints have had to be patient so far tonight. They've defended well. The Irishman O'Connor under pressure quickly, so he's forced back to Lewis. O'Connor under pressure from Quetta. Oberfemi to Smallbone. Tyreek Johnson's continued his run really nicely, flags up for offside. Frustration for Saints, especially with Oberfemi and Barnes charging into the box there. Quick that attacking three for Saints. Tyreek Johnson there just too quick for the offside trap from Porto. This time the Portuguese side, the blue and whites go direct. Good defending from Kane Ramsey. Hopefully we get a chance to see some of that pace and power. Down that right flank tonight. Reb Chuic back to Gomez. And Quiros. Quiros, one of few players in the Porto side this evening that featured in their last game. Slattery has to use the shoulder under pressure quickly from Romario Barrow. Barrow shrugs off Slattery. Switch of play to. Yahaya. Another free kick given away by Southampton. Porto will take it quickly, find the feed of Guetta. Threads the ball three to Romario Barrow. Finds the side, letting let off the Saints there. Just caught napping, gave the free kick away. Porto quick to react. Tight angle for Romario Barrow. He may feel he should have done better. It's a lovely ball in from Guetta. Romario Barrow couldn't wrap his right foot around it. Good angles though, you have to say from Harry Lewis as well. The Saints goalkeeper, capped by England of course at under 18 level. Didn't give much for Romario Barrow to aim at there. 
flicked on by Smallbone. Too much on it for Oberfemi. Michael Oberfemi not been involved in large parts of this game. On a great run of form at the moment. Four goals so far this season, three of those coming in his last four matches for Saints. Lewis. Flick on in search of over Femi. He's just squeezed out of it there by two Porto defenders, Kiros and Reb Chuic, combining well. Good pace by Oberfemi though. Needed both defenders there, Porto, to deal with him. Did well to win the corner for Southampton. Tyreek Johnson will come across to take it. Temperature just dropping at the Staplewood campus. The sun down now. Floodlights in full effect. O'Driscoll and O'Connor forward for Saints, forming a bit of a, a love train, if you like, on the penalty spot. It's in towards O'Driscoll. It's well claimed, though, by Diogo Costa. Tall goalkeeper for Porto got up well. A smart distribution as well, plucked out of the air by Ruben Macedo. Macedo in search of the run of Yahaya, the right back. Can't find him. Vokins to clear up at the back. Kieros back to his goalkeeper Diego Costa. It's Pedro Gomez. Approaching the half hour mark, then best chance of the game so far. Fallen to that man on the ball now, Romario Barrow, finding the side netting from edge of the six yard box after a quick free kick from Porto. Not much to tell you about in terms of Saints' chances going forward in the other direction. If you have just tuned in for the night. Space over on that far side. For Polhares. The feed of Maddy Ketta. Back into Polhares. He can't squeeze and worm his way through. And then that's a, a poor ball forward. Not close enough to Michael Overfemi. No chance really for the Saint striker. Working hard up there tonight. Rui Pires, Barrow, Polares. Whole formation really from Porto fluid. Those central midfield three, often switching from left to right in defensive midfield. Like the attacking three of Ruben Macedo, Rui Sousa, and Maddy Quetta. Driscoll. <laughs> You're higher. Bit of a suspect throw from your higher there. Couldn't have been far away from being a foul throw. Pedro Gomez. Space and time for Oleg Rakchuic to strike the ball straight out of play. Kane Ramsey on as a substitute in this first half. Jan Valery off injured after picking up a knock early doors. Tried to continue the Frenchman. It's been a key man down that right side for Saints. 
the start of their season and they're opening nine games leading up to this one. Saints will hope the injury not too serious. This time it's Slattery who goes down to win a free kick for Saints. In contrast, you have to say, to how things have gone so far. O'Connor desperately looking for an opening. Eventually does find the feet of Vokins who just pulled in from the left touchline. Tyreek Johnson can't sort his feet out quickly enough. And Porto will come away with it. Quiros with the clearance and then hacked away by Polares. Free kick given to Saints on the halfway line. Foul on Thomas O'Connor. Strong play from the Saints skipper. Direct from O'Connor. Barnes is on his bike. Can't get in front of Reb Chewich. Didn't need to, did well enough to win the corner for Saints. Again, they'll send the big men forward from the back. High five for Reb Chewich from Gomez. Tyreek Johnson to head over to that far side to take the corner. And again, it's the two centre-backs, so Driscoll and O'Connor, who just find form that line on the penalty spot trying to create an opening just put their markers off Oberfemi tight to the goal line as well it's in towards O'Connor corner didn't beat the first man and then Smallbone failed to bring it under control as well but it's headed back in by Ben Rothorn Saints can recycle the play 17 year old Kane Ramsey O'Connor space for Vokins he's got Barnes further forward, instead we'll find Slattery. <laughs> O'Driscoll. Good feet there from Kane Ramsey, just to skip away from his man. Barnes, nice touch. In the first attempt, then couldn't sneak it past Pilares with the second. Shado back to Yahaya. Yahaya back to his keeper, Diogo Costa. Rui Pires dropping deep just to try and make something happen for Porto, pulling the strings. It's a chance for him inside this first half. Header straight though into the arms of Harry Lewis, the Saints goalkeeper. It's heavy from O'Connor to O'Driscoll, but he recovers well. Tyreek Johnson's just stuck out on that right side in a switch of flanks with Marcus Barnes. This game so far developing very much in the same manner and way that Southampton's first game in this Premier League International Cup did against Dinamo Zagreb. Very little to pick between the two sides that evening. Saints coming away with the one they'll win. The difference being, of course, they were able to take the lead in the first half of that one and then hold on to it. Sam Gallagher's header coming on 20 minutes in their opening match. That's good play from Marcus Barnes, just strong, nudging you higher off the ball, but then given away by Saints in the middle of the park, and Romario Barrow will come away with it. Mariqueta trying to skip away from Kane Ramsey. Ramsey did really well, wins the throw-in for Saints. Never easy, coming off the bench, early doors, having to settle into the side. Especially as we said with Kane Ramsey coming up from the under 18s. So far, he's taken to it like duck to water. 
Space for your hire. Rui Perez. No ball boys here this evening. So Porto will have to do the fetching. Sousa dropping deep for the Portuguese side. In terms of experience between the two sides, Porto B actually ply their trade in Liga Pro, which is the second division in Porto. Equivalent, if you like, over here to the championship. That league containing a, a number of the, the B sides from the sides in the top flights. In the Portuguese top division. Porto coming into this game this evening off the back of a one-all draw at Olivia Rentz on Saturday. Ruben Machado in the side tonight, the man with the goal for Porto in that game. It's not been a great start though for Portugal back home. Just one win in their opening five lead games, three defeats and a draw. They sit second bottom of Liga Pro. Benfica B who topped that league after the opening few games. Vokins. Good stretch from Vokins to keep that one in play. Sense will win another throw. Free kick to Saints, then Smallbone stood over the ball. Oberfemi gingerly back to his feet. You can see him there just hobbling into position. I'm sure, it'll be one. He'll be hoping one he can just run off. Again, O'Connor and O'Driscoll forward. It's in from Smallbone in search of O'Driscoll. Wins at the header well at the back post. And Saints will win the corner. Just angled in towards his central defensive partner, O'Connor. Good defending by Diego Quiros. Tyreek Johnson across to take it. The love train, if you like, for Saints has got even bigger. As it was referred to for England in the World Cup. Nathan. Marcus Barnes involved in it as well. It's in towards O'Connor, but again, it's a good claim from Diogo Costa. Second time he's done that tonight. Just come out and swept things up, cleared things up for his side. Given away by O'Connor. One back by Slattery. Lokins wants a free kick. Appeals to referee Josh Smith, who duly obliges. Slattery back up on his feet. Overhit. From Saints, too high for Vokins. Bright idea from Aaron O'Driscoll. 
Signed from Man City, of course, O'Driscoll. New two-year deal for him as well, back in June. Committing his future to Saints. Pedro Gomez, nearly given away there by Palares. Bit of help from Romario Barrow. Forward to the feet of Ruben Machado, goes down under the tackle. Another free kick to Porto. And again, another player in blue has to pick himself up off the turf. Shado and Louis Palhares over the ball for Porto said they go back to Diogo Quiros and all the time in the world for Costa in search of the run of Machado, cut off by Saints, he'll drop back to Quiros. Quiros forward to Palares. Room opens up for the shot, deflected, comfortable for Lewis. <coughs> Ramsey. Another Porto player down on the deck, this time Ramsey with the tackle. Rui Pires, I think it is, the Porto skipper. It will be just a throw into Saints though. Ramsey goes long down the line over the head of Barnes. Oberfemi's there. Ramsey again for Saints. Options in the form of Barnes, got Smallbone and Oberfemi further forward, out of shot, finds the feet of Barnes, back to Ramsey, crosses in, Oberfemi trying to lay it off to Smallbone on the edge of the box, he's got it wrong, and then Machado goes down under the tackle from Smallbone, and a bit of retaliation there from Machado, need to be careful. He caught Smallbone there, he may have found himself in a bit of trouble. Just the one minute then of added time at the end of the first half. Decent crowd in, as you can see in the background there. In its Staplewood this evening. Premier League International Cup. Drawing a few numbers. Queros. Good pressing from Will Smallbone, encouraged by Raidi Jaidi, his manager down on the touchline. It's at the base of the diamond for Saints tonight in that attacking four. Pedro Gomez down the line in search of the left back Rebchuic. Play recycled by Porto. Barrow. There is the half-time whistle. A quiet first half. Not a large number of chances for either side to speak of. Porto, you have to say, the visitors, the reigning Premier League International Cup champions, have had the best of those chances. Rui Pires, the skipper, with a header early doors. Romario Barrow going close as well, firing one into the side netting from a tight angle. Saints have been dealt a bit of a blow as well with Jan Valery, as you just see him there, making his way back down the tunnel, having to be replaced by young 17-year-old Kane Ramsey in the first half after picking up a knock. But so far, so good. Radi Jaidi, I think, will go in pretty happy, having called for a response from his players after their defeat to Aston Villa on Friday night. 
second half commentary to come from here at the Staplewood campus. But in the Premier League International Cup, Group A, half time, it's Saints nil, Porto nil.
Welcome back to the Staplewood campus. Players back out on the pitch, ready for the second half of this Premier League International Cup Group A match between Saints under 23s, Porto B, goalless at the break. Tough first half, very little to choose between either side, very few chances for either side as well. The best of them, you have to say, falling to Porto though. Rui Pires with a header into the arms of Harry Lewis, the Saints goalkeeper, and Romario Barrow as well, firing into the side netting. A few dangerous balls into the box for Saints, but little to speak of in terms of shots on target for the home side. Tyreek Johnson, space to drive forward into down that left flank. Early ball in in search of Oberfemi. It's well cut off by Diogo Queiroz for the Portuguese side. Controlled well by Jake Vokins. Two teams for you then. One change for Saints coming into this tonight after their 1-0 defeat at home to Aston Villa on Friday evening in Division 2 of Premier League 2. Coming in goal, Harry Lewis in for Jack Rose. Other than that, it's as you were for Southampton. Line up in the second half, right back, young 17-year-old Kane Ramsey on in the first half after Jan Valery picked up an injury. Centre-backs Aaron O'Driscoll and captain Thomas O'Connor, Jake Vokins at left-back. Ben Rothorn and Callum Slattery, the holding midfielders for Saints this evening in the pocket. And then it's an attacking diamond, Will Smallbone in the number 10 position as they come forward. Porto through Ruben Machado, as well dealt with at the back. We'll come back to the formation in a moment, controlled on the chest of Polares. Back out to... Rabchuic, the left back. Out of play for Oleg Rabchuic. Throw into Saints. So that attacking diamond for Southampton this evening. Then Will Smallbone in the number 10 position. It's Marcus Barnes and Tyreek Johnson on the left and right. Michael Oberfemi, the lone striker for Saints. At the tip of the diamond on the bench, Christoph Clara, Jack Rose, Kane Ramsey, as you know, is already on. Harry Hamblin. Alexander Jankucevic, Nathan Teller and Jonathan Afalabi. Porto lining up 4-3-3 this evening. It's a very fluid 4-3-3 from the European side. Diogo Costa is the goalkeeper. It's a back four of Yahya, Quiros, Gomez and Rebchuic. Rui Pires, the captain, is the defensive midfielder. Then it's Romario Barrow and Luis Palares slightly further forward. Ruben Machado and Mari Cueta operating the flank. See the side of Rui Sousa. Francisco Mexedo is their substitute goalkeeper. Then options on the bench in terms of outfield players in the form of midfielder Moreto Casama, Diego Landis, the centre back, Rui Costa, the striker. Yao Lamera, Yao Lopez, and Inacio Santos. Marcus Barnes brings it down well, turns away from his man, Ruben Machado. And Barnes gives away a free kick. If you're just tuning in for the second half, missed the first on Saints TV. A lot of free kicks given away by Southampton, breaking up the play a lot, penalised frequently by referee Josh Smith. Looks like that may be about to continue in the second as well. You sense it may be just a bit of a tactic from Southampton not to give Porto any time on the ball, not allow them to get a foothold on the match. Could have the best of the possession. They certainly spent more time in Saints' half than their own in the first half. But Saints defended well, that man as well there. Kane Ramsey slotting in at right back really well, having come on early doors for the injured Jan Valery. Again, another free kick given away. Callum Slattery just in the back of Romario. And Luis Palares. Pedro Gomez, centre back for Porto this evening. Run you through the format of the competition again is a little reminder in a minute, but there's some space for Oberfemi. Finds Smallbone, nearly thread it through to Tyreek Johnson. Well recovered by Saints, though. Overlapping runs from Vokins. Space for the cross in towards Oberfemi. Beaten to the ball, and Porto will clear. 
Sensoba Femi just needed that ball into the box a little bit earlier from Vokins. It was a good probing delivery though. That's good from Smallbone. Skips away from his man. Vokins is still forward across the face. A goal in towards Marcus Barnes. Saints take the lead in the Premier League International Cup. They were up against it in the first half, but they're in front early in the second. Marcus Barnes on the score sheet again. His fifth of the season. It's Southampton 1, Porto 0. Lovely play from Saints. It looked like the attack had come to an end, but they recycled it really well. Smallbone with the pass to Vokins, who stayed forward. Lovely pullback. Barnes arriving on the spot in the six yard box. As we said, a fifth of the season for Marcus Barnes. He enjoyed that one. Smile on his face for the Saints number seven. 21 years old. Could spell at Yeovil last season. Nine appearances for the League Two side. One goal in that period as well. Will the game just open up a little bit now? It's crying out for a goal. Saints deliver one early in the second half. That'll just settle them down a little bit more. Can they kick on from there? Search of the goal scorer Barnes. Here you go, Costa goes short with the goal kick. This is Southampton's first season in the Premier League International Cup. Already up and running last month with victory over Dinamo Zagreb in their opening game. They've settled into the competition really nicely. We said, struggled in the first half, were up against it at times. Certainly Porto with the best of the chances. But Saints, more clinical in front of goal. Their best chance, perhaps really their only clear-cut chance on target. Marcus Barnes able to tuck it away. and. Southampton with confidence now will come forward again through Will Smallbone. Rothorn, Smallbone. Switch of play from Slatter. It's just too long for the forward run of Kane Ramsey. Rothorn. Lifelong Saints fan, Ben Rothorn in the middle of the park for them tonight. Slattery skips away from his round really nicely. Finds Smallbone. Oberfemi's there as well. Surrounded by blue shirts. Squeezes his way through though. Back to Slattery. Space for Barnes. Barnes stands one up to the back post. Tyreek Johnson is there. Oberfemi. Ma Michael Oberfemi with some strong play. He was the man who went down but gave away the free kick. A bit of height difference between the two centre backs and Michael Oberfemi up against big tall Pedro Gomez. Referee says Oberfemi too strong for Gomez. Now it's Porto who come forward. Romario Barro back to Barro. Appeals for handball. Saints win the goal kick. Again, remain solid at the back. I mean, nothing will be decided this evening as it stands. Saints going six points clear at the top, but they're the only teams who have played two matches. West Ham yet to play at all. So West Ham, of course, still could win all three of their games. It is the top two who will go through. Sorry, the league leaders in each league. And then the two best runners up, not the top two. Six groups of four, so the six winners head through to the knockout stage and then those two best runners up as well. You'd fancy Saints with two wins. Would have a good chance of that, whatever happens in their final game against West Ham. Still work to do here this evening, of course. 
this competition formed back in 2014-15 just the 16 teams back then expanded to 24 a couple of years ago Perez the captain to Barre Perez again dinks one up into the air in search of the run of Oleg Rebchewicz, the left back, forward in an advanced position. He's got support from Machado. Back to Polares, stands one up. It's a good call there from Harry Lewis. Communication with Jake Vokins, gave him the shout. Vokins knew he could just step out of the way. Harry Lewis, hands out, in control of the situation. Mentioned in the first half, didn't we? But a, a brilliant spell for him last season. 39 appearances for Dundee United. And Scottish Division 1, obviously having arrived from Saints back in 2015 from Shrewsbury. It's been Jack Rose though who's really been the key figure for the under-23s and goal on the bench this evening. Jack Rose, signed last season from West Brom. Nice turn from Slattery. Bit of a heavy ball that though, it's going to be a chase on for Aaron O'Driscoll, does well to keep it in. Charged down by Rui Sousa. Composed play though from O'Driscoll. Slattery back to help out as well. Marcus Barnes, the Saints goal scorer early on inside the opening five minutes of the second half. After a lovely pullback from Vokins, the Saints left back. Oleg Rabchuic, the man that Kane Ramsey takes that throw and has been tasked with keeping quiet since coming on. The left back for Porto likes to get forward. And again, Michael Oberfemi involved in a, a battle with Pedro Gomez, which continued after the ball had gone. And there's a yellow card. Brandished in the direction of both of them, but I think brandished to Michael Oberfemi. The Saint striker has had a lot of running to do tonight. And a, a big battle with Pedro Gomez which you'd have to say over Femi despite a fair difference in height has won that physical battle so far long direct ball forward for Porto search of Guetta brought down by Barrow Ben Rothorn, the 19-year-old, there to break up the play for Saints. Pedro Gomez. Diego Quiros. Going to see a first change of the evening for Porto shortly. Won't take you long to notice the bright peroxide blonde hair of Moreto Kisama, the central midfielder. When he gets on in a moment, play continues and cleared by O'Connor. Chase on for Oberfemi, hurries Costa into a clearance with his feet from outside his box. Pires, cries of organised from Radi Jaidi, the Saints boss. Said he felt Southampton were just lacking the under 23s in the final third against Aston Villa on Friday night in their 1 0 defeat. Not lot, been a lot of action for Saints in the final third this evening either. But as we say, when they've had the chance, they've taken it. Marcus Barnes' goal that separates the two teams in this second half. Pull back, and that's a great save from Harry Lewis. But they've given away a penalty, Saints. It's from Mario Barrow, again the man involved. There's a yellow card in there. Pull back from Ruben Machido. Romario Barrow pulled the trigger. Penalty given against young Kane Ramsey on off the bench this afternoon. He's defended really well this evening and looked good going forward. Interesting decision, Romario Barrow getting the shot away. But 
Kane Ramsey penalised for the sliding tackle that came in after the shot was away. Machado with the cross, Barrow pulls the trigger. It was a great save from Harry Lewis as well, but it will be a penalty to Porto. They will have the chance to equalise from the spot. Harsh on Saints, can Harry Lewis produce another save? Rui Sousa, the striker, places the ball down on the box. Harry Lewis back in the side this evening, stands big. Deep breaths from Rui Sousa. To equalise for Porto, sends Lewis the wrong way, finds the back of the net. Saints punished. You have to say it was a harsh penalty. But well executed from the striker Rui Sousa. Southampton won, Porto won. Short tentative run up, wasn't it, from Rui Sousa? Just waited for Harry Lewis to commit the Saints goalkeeper. And then tucked it away into the opposite side. Saints will have to come again. Let it bounce. And then Michael Oberfemi goes down. No penalty this time, says referee Josh Smith. May well have been right on the edge of the box, but no free kick either. Michael Oberfemi, sharp there off the mark. Rui Perez, I think it was, who just let it bounce over his head. He realised he'd made a mistake as soon as he did. It was quickly backpedalling, shoulder to shoulder with Michael Oberfemi. It'll be interesting to see a replay of that one. Play continues from Mercedes. O'Driscoll comes away with it. Now all of a sudden Porto with confidence again. Mari Cueta finds you higher out in that right flank. Back to Cueta. Interesting that goal as well for Porto. Just prompted Moreto Casama, who was stripped off, ready to come on on the touchline for Porto to pop his tracksuit back on and sit back down again. Still down there, but with Jacket back on, keeping warm, going through his warm-up. Romario Barra, the man who won the penalty then for Porto. Had a chance in the first half and has looked lively again in the second half. Does well to keep it in there. Support still there from Oleg Rabchuic, the left-back. Slattery clears the lines for Saints. Picked up by Rui Pires, the captain and central midfielder. The tempo just picked up by Porto after that equaliser. Direct ball forward again. Looked like that may have come off an arm. Rui Sousa, the goal scorer, back out to Mari Cueta. Trying to find room for the cross. Instead tries the, the back hill and finds Yahaya, keeps it in. It's in towards Sousa. Edge of the box, Pilares in possession, flicked in towards that six yard line. Harry Lewis, sharp off the line, does well for Saints. That penalty again for Porto. Could there, perhaps, should there have been one at the other end for Michael Obafemi? Good defending from Diego Queiroz. Throw into Saints. Vokin's the man who provided the assist for Marcus's Barnes goal. Forward again. Again early on the delivery. In towards the goal scorer Barnes for Saints. Just couldn't sort his feet out quick enough. And no worry for Saints as well. Marcus Barnes just pulling up after that. Holding his hamstring. Play continues through Slattery. Trying to weave and find some room for the shot. Plucked down of the air again by Vokin's. Marcus Barnes looks like he's okay, having just pulled up and held his hamstring in his left leg. Been a much better second half so far in comparison to the first as we 
approach the halfway mark of the second 45 in towards the feet of Oberfemi. Barnes is arriving as well. Marcus Barnes pulls the trigger. Takes a deflection out of play for a corner. That's better from Saints. Bright play. Oberfemi and Barnes combining well on the edge of the box. Barnes is still not moving too easy. It's that left hamstring causing the problem. He just stretches it out. Corner to Saints then. Smallbone over on the far side to deliver. Again, the two big men, O'Driscoll and O'Connor. Up from the back for Saints. Lurking on the penalty spot, and it comes from Smallbone. Punched clear by Diogo Costa. And then an overhead kick from Madi Cueta as well to send the ball on its way. Vokins. Smallbone stayed wide and left. Trying to find the feet of Tyreek Johnson. Can't. Diego Quirez driving forward out of defence for Porto. Good play by Saints though. Just to halt him, stop him in his tracks. Gomez. Rui Sosa, scorer of the penalty for Porto. The equaliser. Reb Chuic in field to Ruben Machado. Machado driving towards the 18 yard box, brought down by Callum Slattery. Play on, says referee Josh Smith. The backroom staff of Porto furious, but still play continues in towards Machado. Took an arm, Machado absolutely furious with referee Josh Smith as well. He feels he should have had a free kick. There was a heavy tackle from Slattery as we see it here. Machado just pulling away from Smallbone. And then Slattery clattering through the back of Ruben Machado. Referee right in front of it, had a great view. Perhaps a hint of the ball for Callum Slattery. Just enough for referee Josh Smith to say it was a fair tackle. And there's that shoulder barge, if you like, on Mo Michael Oberfemi. Moments ago with the scoreline at 1-1 at that point, just after the equaliser from the penalty spot. Blatant, blatant foul there by Diogo Quiros. No attempt to get the ball. Only had eyes for Michael Oberfemi. Can feel hard done by not to have been awarded a penalty kick. That's good, strong play from Barnes. Lays it off to Oberfemi, beaten to it by Gomez. A few controversial decisions at Staplewood this evening. Saints are hoping they're not too costly. Ball in early from Tyreek Johnson. Oberfemi was the intended target. Porto's equaliser coming just before the hour mark, eight minutes after Marcus Barnes had opened the scoring on 50, his fifth of the season. Remember, replays are both the goals if you missed them earlier. Available on the at Southampton FC Twitter account tonight. That Saints opener well worth another look. It was lovely play from Smallbone and Vokins linking up down the left and then Barnes arriving on the spot on the six-yard box to supply the finish. The Porto substitute, Moreto Kasama, who did make his way onto the field in the end. That distinctive blonde hair. Here he is, Kasama. Early ball, splits the Saints defence. Finds the run of Reb Chuic, the centre-back, but pull back to Kasama. Lively, pacey, the central midfielder for Porto. Early cross in, in towards the goal scorer, Rui Sosa, free header just outside the six-yard box. Really should have done better, the Porto striker. You can tell by his reaction, he knows that too. Let off for Saints. Lovely ball in from the right-back, Yahaya. It just seemed to almost roll off the forehead of Rui Sousa. Up and over the bar. 
should have done better. Saints will need all their concentration in this final 20 minutes. Had their best spell after scoring the opening goal. Porto have grown in confidence since the equaliser themselves though. There's the man that grabbed the goal for Saints, Marcus Barnes. Looks like he's shaken off that hamstring tweak that he was feeling a few minutes ago. Right, is Jaidi out on the edge of his technical area, barking the instructions for Southampton. Rui Barros alongside him in the opposite dugout. There is the former Tunisian international, of course, Saints defender. Yeah, Rui Barros, the man in charge of Porto B, the 52-year-old. Former Portuguese international, more than 30 appearances for his country. Former Porto, Juventus, Monaco, and Marseille midfielder. Did have a caretaker spell in charge of Porto's first team as well. Rui Barros, and a, around a five year spell as assistant boss as well after Jose Mourinho left. Machado pulls the trigger early. Saints having to keep their wits about them here. Moreto Kasama just injected a bit of pace since he's come on for the visitors. Headed clear on the six yard line by O'Driscoll. <laughs> Interestingly, it was Romario Barro, the man that made way for Moreto Kasama. Barro involved in two of the, the three key chances if you like for Porto this evening firing into the side netting himself in the first half then winning the penalty for Porto's equaliser Porto's other decent chance coming in the last few minutes with Rui Sousa heading over here they come again Sousa through on goal another brilliant save by Harry Lewis sharp off his line kept himself low stood big Stood firm, I should say, with Sousa in behind, trying to lift it over the top of Lewis. Stood strong, the Saints goalkeeper. Important save, scoreline remains 1-1. Into the final 17 minutes or so here at the Staplewood campus. Rui Sousa's just sprung into life in the second half. Goal. Like the rest of the team appears to have given him plenty of confidence. We're going to see a second change of the evening for Southampton now. Nathan Tello is the man that's going to be introduced. Marcus Barnes, Saints goal scorer. As we see that again, lovely play from Smallbone. Picked out the pass to Vokins, who threaded it across the face of goal. Barnes, right place, right time, lurking on the six-yard box. His fifth of the season, work is done for the evening. On comes Nathan Teller, the man signed from Arsenal back in 2017 to provide a, an injection of pace down that right flank for Southampton in these final 15 minutes or so. Jake Vokins, England under 17 international, travelled to the European Championships to represent his country, of course. Born in Oxford, been with Saints since the age of eight. He's had a good game this evening. Gone about his business well and, of course, supplying the assist for that goal. As Saints again come down that left-hand side and again it's Smallbone. This time he puts the cross in early himself. Frustration for Saints, both Nathan Teller and Oberfemi had taken exactly the same run to the front post there. No one arriving on the 18-yard box to meet the cross. It's a shame, it was good play. Moreto Kasama. Oleg Rabchuic back to Palares. Nice play from Saints, Slattery 
comes away with it. Quickly closed down and then draws the foul in from Oleg Rabchuic. Free kick to Saints. We're going to see another change for Porto. Slattery did really well to help win the wall back, ball back for Southampton and recovered well after turning and nearly slipping, drawing the foul in from Rabchuic. And we see that change now. Yal Lopez, the man coming on. Mari Cueta heading off for the evening. Like for like, Yal Lopez, a winger as well. We'll just head out onto that right touch line. More fresh legs for Porto. O'Driscoll launches the free kick forward. Strong play from Overfemi to get in front of the ball. Couldn't control it off the shoulder. Nathan Teller is there for Saints. He'll squeeze Rabchuic. Teller. Back to Slattery. Slattery down under the challenge from Ruben Mashed, who, who again is furious with referee Josh Smith. I don't think you can have too many complaints with that one. Free kick to Saints in a, a dangerous position. A chance for Tyreek Johnson to deliver the ball in the box and another opportunity for Aaron O'Driscoll and Thomas O'Connor to come forward from the back for Southampton. Johnson, the left-footed option. It's going to be in swinging in towards Diogo Costa's goal, which it is not dealt with by Porto at the front post. The captain, Rui Perez, ducking out of the way of the header. Diego, Diogo Costa clearly didn't call for it, didn't know anything about it. It's hit him in the stomach and let off for Porto. Saints unlucky that that one didn't ricochet to Kane Ramsey, who was just lurking next to the Porto goalkeeper. And have another chance to put the ball into the box, though, from the corner. Johnson to deliver this time towards the back post. That's better from the Porto goalkeeper, Diego Costa. This time does call and does claim and gets play moving quickly for the visitors. Bokins. Calm and composed. Slattery. Righty Jaidi just calls for his teams to organise themselves down on the touchline. Slattery, Saints just brought themselves back into the game again. Last five minutes or so, the introduction of Nathan Teller seems to have livened things up. Radi Jaidi looking pretty relaxed this evening. I'm sure would have been intrigued to see how his young Saints players took to European competition. And certainly against the back-to-back -back champions, the competition, Porto, they have done pretty well so far. Yellow card given to Rui Sousa. the Porto goal scorer. This is equaliser from the penalty spot. Cancelled out Marcus Barnes's opener on 50 minutes for Saints. Saints come forward again. Obafemi goes down, back up to his feet. More strong play by Michael Obafemi. Back out to Ramsey, crossing towards the six yard box, headed clear by Rui Perez. And then O'Driscoll and O'Connor just getting in each other's way. O'Driscoll and Rothorn, I should say. That's a good play from Smallbone. <laughs> Fixes to come in this Group A then. West Ham v Porto is next on the 30th of October. Then it's West Ham against Dinamo Zagreb on Tuesday the 13th of November. Porto will host Dinamo Zagreb, somewhere in England, the venue still yet to be decided on the 24th of November. 
and then Saints don't play again in this competition until Tuesday the 11th of December when they host West Ham here at the Staplewood campus. Smallbone skipping away from his men are two markers really brilliantly there and drawing the foul from Diego Quiros and again just provides the opportunity for Saints to set themselves send forward O'Driscoll and O'Connor Smallbone can try and pick out the head big tool Kane Ramsey the right back is also forward on the edge of the 18 yard box it's in towards O'Driscoll at the back post rooted to the ground really Mark closely couldn't get off the deck not dealt with by Rothorn Machado will come forward onto his right foot goes down on the tackle from Vokins Vokins Adam and he got the ball Machado books for diving free kick to Saints Machado again furious with referee Josh Smith not a happy chappy Ruben Machado this evening and boots the ball away and up in the air having just been booked that's a bit of a risky game from Ruben Machado two occasions he's given away fouls which he really didn't feel were fouls and felt he should have had one himself as well having been brought down on the edge of the box that the second occasion that had happened this time he goes into the book for a dive and you have to say having then booted the ball away up into the air he's lucky to escape with out to second booking someone on his management team probably needs to get him by the scruff of the neck and calm him down a little Saints won't mind that at all though maybe something as well for the Saints players just to remind Ruben Machado about as well in these final nine minutes or so Pedro Gomez getting frustrated at the back now as well for Porto this will be good for Saints just getting on top of Porto here see a final change of the night for Southampton Jonathan Afalabi the man who will be introduced Tyreek Johnson coming across from the far side new one year deal for Jonathan Afalabi in June over the summer four goals for him last season as well for Saints in the under 23s can he make an impact in the final stages of this Premier League Cup Group A match? Premier League International Cup, I should say, Group A match. Here at Staplewood. Another decision there, perhaps, for referee Josh Smith to make. Throwing in from Ramsey. Obafemi again going down, being marked closely and almost wrestled to the ground. That one looked like it was just inside the box as well. Saints may feel a little hard done by tonight when they walk away from here. Some may say the penalty they conceded was harsh. And perhaps they should have had one, maybe even two at the other end themselves. Still time though for either side to find the winner. Ramsey. Into the feet of Slattery. Slattery draws the foul from Louis Polares. Did really well, Slattery. Body between ball and player. Nice feed as well from Ramsey. Saw him coming, did Slattery. And again, Saints can deliver. Full small bone. We'll set this up and deliver. O'Driscoll, O'Connor, Ramsey in there as target men. It's to O'Driscoll again at the back post. And then his defensive partner, Thomas O'Connor, at the front post, trying to send it goalwards. The referee, Josh Smith, again upsetting the Porto players. He's given a corner to Saints. We see the replay coming in now. Again towards O'Driscoll at the back post. Headed down towards O'Connor. Saved. O'Connor did get the ball to send it goalwards. 
as he was being bundled over, saved by Diogo Costa. And from that angle, it looked like it did come off of Costa laugh, last. And you have to say the corner of the right decision. Small bone over there to deliver for Saints. Ramsey, Slattery, lurking edge of the box. Big target men in the middle. It's in towards Afalabi and Ramsey. Well dealt with in the end by goalkeeper Diego Costa. Saints will keep men forward though. Vokins to Afalabi. Switches on if Saints can find the feet of Ramsey. It's a lovely ball, brilliant control from Ramsey. Just couldn't quite skip round the outside of Oleg Rebchewicz. And again, Costa sharp off his line and he gets Rui Sousa going quickly. Route one, turning Saints around. Sousa just held up though by O'Connor. Sousa to Kasama. Perez. Kasama again, arriving Rebchewicz, the left back, back to Kasama into the feed of Rui Sousa, held up, back to Kasama, pulls the trigger, that was an important block by O'Driscoll, brave defending by Aaron O'Driscoll there. Impossible to tell if that was heading in, but either way O'Driscoll wasn't to know, and it's forward again towards Sousa who gets to the ball before Harry Lewis and sends it goalwards, finds the side netting, Lewis clatters into Rui Sousa who stays down, Goal kick, says referee Josh Smith. Again, it's that man, Kasama. Lovely dink ball over the top of the Saints' defence. What a finish that would have been from Rui Sousa. Couldn't get it on target. Let off for Saints at the end of this game. There's still three and a half minutes left, plus any stoppage time. This one could swing either way. It's been tight all match. Nothing changes as it stands. Final change on the way, though, for Porto. Rui Costa, the striker being sent on. Rui Sousa, the man who scored the equaliser for Porto from the penalty spot in 58 minutes. He's heading off. His work done for the evening, the last action, that flick into the side netting just moments ago. Fresh legs up top for the Portuguese side to try and make an impact. on by Rothorn, a 19-year-old for Saints. O'Connor gets up well to win the header above Rui Costa. Nathan Teller putting Rabchewicz under pressure. Forward to Ruben Machado. Machado loses out, but Moreto Kasama it's there again for Porto, threads a, a lovely through ball forward to the feet of Yao Lopez. Out wide to Yahaya. He's got support further forward. Out there in the form of Rui Costa. Good defending from Vokins. Jonathan Afalabi there as well. Into the final two minutes. Again, Michael Oberfemi, strong to hold off his man. Can hold on to the ball as well, though. Forward in search of Ruben Machado. Not dealt with by Porto. One for Nathan Teller to chase. Teller does well, comes off the arm. Teller wins a free kick. Foul, says Rui Perez. Says referee. Josh Smith against Rui Perez. Heading into the final minute, Saints will put the ball in the box. They're after the winner. They've sent the big men forward from the back again. It's now holding on to the draw for Southampton here. Going to send the height of well, Smallbone to the edge of the box as well. Jake Vokins is going to come across to be the left-footed option on the free kick will be in the swinging. The management staff for Porto feel the ball's been put too far forward. It's in from Vokins, flicked on by O'Driscoll, in towards the run of Thomas O'Connor, too much on it. 
and now Saints will have to get back and defend as Diego Costa tries to turn Saints around again about to find out how much stoppage time there's going to be for the moment Smallbone has space in the middle of the park Ramsey again opening up those long legs striding forward for Saints Oleg Rabshuic goes to the ground a little easy wins a free kick clever play from him the fourth official's board is up we're going to have four minutes at the end of this time for both sides to try and find a winner finally poised in the Premier League International Cup on Saints TV this evening first half wasn't the greatest spectacle the second one's certainly been better a couple of goals to boot as well Rabshuic Kisama you wouldn't bet against there being more pulls the trigger from distance Louis Palares great save from Harry Lewis to deny Polaris late on in the game into stoppage time. Again, it was that man, Moreto Kasama, space for Polaris. And what a save that is from Harry Lewis, diving away to his left hand side. A strong arm to keep the score line level here at the Staplewood campus. Oh, it's a brilliant save. Not a massive touch from Harry Lewis, but more than enough to send the ball and divert it over the bar. Brilliant stuff from the Saints goalkeeper as the corner comes in. Recycled at the back post, stabbed up towards that far side, cleared by Saints. Nathan Teller with the header onto the run of Michael Obafemi. Well, scores stay level at the end Saints will certainly have Harry Lewis to thank for that he's made a couple of important stops tonight and that last one an absolute cracker still time though perhaps for Reb Chewich to come forward pulls it back to the edge of the box lays it off to Moreto Kasama he's thinking about the shot as well Porto can smell a winner lays it off to Ruben Machado out wide to you're higher. Space for Rui Pires. That's a poor ball forward from Bolares. The man denied that stunning winner there just moments ago by that man there, Harry Lewis. In the side for Jack Rose tonight. He will feel unlucky not to have kept a clean sheet He's done everything he could great save as well to deny the shot which eventually led to the penalty for Porto powerless to stop the penalty from Rui Sosa which equalized after Marcus Bayons had given Saints the lead Falabi comes forward for Saints over on that far side back to Vokins Early cross in, in towards Smallbone, just couldn't get up off, high enough off the ground to find the header. Ramsey in an advanced position, that's well won back by Slattery. Teller's there as well, charged down by Rui Costa. Good play from Nathan Teller, twisting and turning, weaving away from his man. Both sets of players cramped for room. taken to the final 10 minutes if you like but all of a sudden of an injection in pace from both sides in terms of attacking intent Vokins with the throw movement from Afalabi further forward go back to Ben Rothorn switch of play from O'Connor it's too long for Ramsey got about 10 seconds left Plus anything else, referee Josh Smith wants to add on. And there is the full-time whistle. Saints remain unbeaten in the Premier League International Cup, having taken the lead in the second half against Porto through Marcus Barnes on 50 minutes, tapping in from six yards after great play down the left from Will Smallbone. And then Jake Vokins, who supplied the assist, but then pegged back just eight minutes later, Rui Sosa from the penalty spot. That after Kane Ramsey, the 17-year-old 
substitute for Saints tonight on in the first half had brought down Romario Barrow. Here is the goal that gave Saints the lead in the second half. Marcus Barnes and his fifth of the season. And then the equaliser for Porto. It was pulled back by Machado. Romario Barrow got the shot away, saved well by Harry Lewis. A penalty for the foul by Ramsey, said referee Josh Smith. And then Rui Sosa stepping up, sending Harry Lewis the wrong way, equalising for Porto. And then it could have been all three points to Porto if it wasn't for Harry Lewis. An excellent save right at the end in stoppage time, flying away to his left-hand side to deny Moreto Casama. Or Louis Pilares, sorry. A great save, one that he'll be keen to watch again and again and again, I'm sure. But as we say, Saints remain unbeaten in Group A in the Premier League International Cup. They'll stay top on four points. Porto will go second with one point from their first game this evening. West Ham yet to play in third. Dinamo Zagreb in fourth, obviously having been beaten in their only game by Saints here last month in the opening group match. Southampton won't return to action in this competition until the 11th of December when they host West Ham here in their final group game at the Staplewood campus. Remember, nothing decided tonight because West Ham still yet to play in the competition. But we will, of course, have live commentary again of that match on Saints TV. Thanks very much for joining us this evening. It's finished here at the Staplewood campus in the Premier League International Cup. Southampton 1, Porto 1.